it's uh, interesting to see um, kind of how the two different philosophies on being on the boundary waters coincide here at some of these portages. Um, this is obviously a dual use lake where you can use both motors and canoes and uh, this portage that we just portaged around this little quick water, uh, we ran across a couple that were pulling their uh, motored boat up through the little river here and uh, they're going to head into North Lake and eventually into South Lake and do some fishing down there. But uh, we uh, are about ready to pack our canoe back up and keep heading on into Gunflint. It's um, kind of cool. It's nice to meet everybody else that's out here and kind of see how they uh, experience the Boundary Waters. And um, it's just a, a fun place to be, especially uh, on just nice summer days like today. We just paddled across uh, North Lake and just took a 20 rod portage into uh, Little Gunflint Lake right now. And um, we got to look at that uh, old uh, rail portage that they used to use to haul boats across between the two lakes, which is uh, kind of interesting to see the old, uh, you know, the history behind the Boundary Waters and how it used to be used back in the day. But uh, we're going to paddle across Little Gunflint Lake here and then uh, down a little river into Gunflint Lake. And from there, from there, we're gonna, we've got about eight miles of paddling, I think, to get the other end of Gunflint. Um, so we've got a, quite a bit of paddling ahead of us. But we're gonna get on the way here and see what we can see. just uh, got onto Gunflint Lake here and we noticed that uh, the burn that we'd already seen on the uh, American side of the waters did jump over into the Canadian side and um, it's just kind of amazing how much uh, fire coming through here changes um, the landscape not only visually but just I guess how you feel when you're paddling through an area like this. Um, I remember last summer when we were paddling up on Knife Lake and we hit the burn over there. Um, granted, it was at the end of a long day of paddling, but it just kind of was demoralizing to come through an area like this where, I mean, everything is just gray and black. Um, and with the cloud cover over the top, it kind of adds to it. So um, I kind of suspect we'll be in the middle of this for quite some time now as we paddle down Gunflint Lake, and we'll see how Saginaw, um, if it got affected by the fire or not. So. Two and a half hours paddling across Gunflint Lake here, 
and um, we're about ready to make the corner to head north uh, and work our way up that windy rivery um, area into Saginaw. Uh, we've seen a couple of pontoon boats out here on the lake and um, one other canoe. It's uh, quite a ways to paddle across Gunflint and I'm sure Saginaw and uh, Knife are going to be the same. Um, and it just seems like it kind of takes a little, takes forever as you're going along and you, the scenery, since it's so uh, wide, doesn't change very much for you. finished up with uh, Gunflint Lake. We are um, now going to portage around a little rapids on Pine River and uh, hop back in the boat. We're in that windy section I talked about earlier and I think we're going to just kind of paddle along here and look for a campsite as we go along. Uh, once we find one nice we'll set up camp for the night.
we just got off another portage and um, we're on to Clove Lake now. Uh, the last portage we went through was um, pretty grassy on either side. We picked up a couple of ticks. Um, but as we got to the lake, uh, there was a really steep downhill uh, right down into the lake. Um, so glad I was going this direction instead of the other direction <laughs> so that I didn't have to climb up that hill. But uh, we're heading along down through Clove here and we've got a 48 rod portage. Um, and then we paddle for a little bit further and we've got a 70 some rod portage that they call Swamp Portage. We're not sure how that's going to fare, but uh, I'm secretly hoping that there will be a boardwalk across uh, the really swampy parts. But uh, it's nice out. We've seen some phenomenal wildlife with the beaver back there and the loons and uh, just having a really good time out here on the water. Um, just uh, great to be on the boundary waters in the summertime. We just got done with Swamp Portage, which uh, was a little bit muddy, but not too bad. They, the Forest Service or the Boundary Waters Trail crew has gone in and put up uh, boardwalks across most of the really nasty parts, so that's nice. Um, so we're, like I said, we're still working our way down the Granite River. Up ahead here in a little ways, we're going to come across uh, the Granite Portage, which is going to drop us into Ganese Lake. And uh, from there, we're going to start probably looking for a campsite. and. Um, just uh, probably try to find some place to sit down and have dinner for the evening and relax. We've had uh, quite a day of paddling as we got across Gunflint Lake and all the way uh, through this river system. But uh, it's kind of a nice time to be out uh, in the evening here. Uh, everything's kind of quiet and um, able to maybe see some animals coming out later in the evening. kicks to the right. We're going to aim for the red tree and then when we clear the bottom we're going to turn right. 